is going on. Who the f knocking at the door, Grandma? Hey, I seen. I don't know if I what reacted to this before, but I seen this video before. Oh? What is going on? Uh, yeah. Yo, Grandma really got her grandma. side dude coming to the house. Come on in. Oh man, what is going on? Where did Papa go? Like this one when the wolf be. Papa, Papa. Yeah, he's sweating. What's going on? Huh? You ain't got nothing to do with it no more? You gave up on it? Why you give up on it? Hold on, hold on. I listen to you, man. I listen to you, man. Like this woman was knowing me and uh, me. I mean, before you were born, you were. I'm trying to come up now. <laughs> oh, look, he gave the laugh. Now you know he bullshit. I'm listening to him, boy. He got the old video, boy. He got the old video. <laughs> Bro, I don't care how old I get. I don't care if my, my thing just stopped working. I'm talking about out of commission. You not coming to sit up in my house with my woman. Old head laying on the bed watching TV, so I give up on it. That's her boyfriend. What? We could be 105. Ain't ain't no goddamn way. Ain't, ain't hell no, nah, boy. Mm-mm. It ain't even going down like that. That's crazy. This woman has one of the hardest world records to break. She slept with the largest number of men in a period of 24 hours. I dare you to guess in the comments how many you think she was with. Lisa Sparks had intimate relationships with 919 people in one day. Just... even finna waste my steps for that. Hey, hell no. Nah. 919 men? Hell no. Nah. Dude, how is that even possible? That's no. Hell no. That's not possible. Just as you hear it, in the year 2004, at the third annual Game Bam Championship held in Poland, Lisa was with almost a thousand men, and each of them took around 45 seconds, establishing a world record that to this day it remains unsurpassed. Without a doubt, this woman has one of the hardest world records to break. I didn't even know there was a gangbang championship. There's a gangbang championship. <sighs> the f Denaya! Hey, where's the lighter? Where's the lighter? What you mean you don't know where the lighter is? The lighter always been here. Now, fellas, fellas, I, I need to address this, sir. Stop complaining about taking her on a date or to wherever function, wherever vacation. Is she taking pictures of her food and her having a good time and not you? Keep your money in your pocket. <laughs> wait, 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 that's the rule? <laughs> oh, shit. That's a fact. That's a fact. Papa, you don't like this shit. You better crap me in the picture. Look here. 
Don't get on social media talking crazy, none of that. That's a fact. She got one chance. Mm-hmm. You take her to dinner, she snap a picture of her food, mm-hmm. and you put your little arm. Mm-hmm. In the oh my god. <laughs> Keep your money in your pocket, King. Yes, sir. Date yourself. Take yourself to, to, to Mexico. Take Date yourself. You Not this you one. Colombia, Dominican Republic, well. Yes, like, King. King. Yes. Now, fellas. Why you making your face up? I need to dress this. Don't don't you hate when you see that? You don't be hating when you see that? You know what I see? What? What'd you see? My man that's in front of me. Oh, I, I like that response. Mm-hmm. Well, I be hating when I see that. Oh, you do, babe? Yeah. Well, take me somewhere so I can show you off. Who? Hmm? Take me somewhere. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not my job. That's not your job. That's not my job. My Spoil place. me. You know my duty? I do. Take me on a do date. Do you see me? I'm spoiling you right now. And I spoiled you earlier. And I spoil you every day in many different ways. In a feminine way. I love you. I hope we don't come across none of them people that say what you bring to the table. Because if that, that's your answer, it's going to look crazy. My feminine essence. You bring your feminine essence. You bring your feminine essence to the table. Yeah, I bring something to the table that a man could never be. You bring something to the table that a man could never be. Mm-mm. You don't get it because you're a man. You're not supposed to get it. The answers is crazy. We got you married. Yeah, but I right, look. You love me. You're obsessed with me. I'm saying though, but what what makes it different from somebody else? Oh, you can answer that better than me. How? Don't you, spend that on me. You chose me. I chose you. Yeah, you chose to be with me. You chose to do life with me. I chose to. I'm be not life saying with you. I don't have something another woman doesn't have. I'm saying what I bring to the table for a man, a man could never bring, which is why he needs. A woman, a heterosexual man. It's our feminine essence and presence. All women have it. The particular woman that the man chooses to share the feminine essence with on a regular basis, that's up to him. But whether, like, I want us to be together, but if we're not, it's still mine. It's still my feminine essence. It's it's a part of me. It goes with me everywhere I go. And that's probably why you look at certain females too when you're not with me or even when you are in my presence. You kind of attracted to see. Who's, who say I look at other females? I'm blind. I'm Stevie Wonder out here in these streets. No, you're not. But that's okay because I admire feminine beauty and essence you, too. You might. Oh. <laughs> okay. I it's yeah, it's I a thought, beautiful thing to see. I it's thought you was going to say something else. No. Yeah, yeah. We should admire some feminine essence together. We do. We've always admired it together. No, not like that. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. But I'm talking about since we've been together, we always... She's cute. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at her ass. <laughs> mm-hmm. There's something about her. He <laughs> he. We've been doing that. Nothing mm-hmm. has changed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you didn't know what a lighter was. I don't. But I know you needed a lighter, so I bought you one. Oh, okay. Them answers was trash. Them answers was trash. What I bring to the table, my feminine essence. Oh my God. She said that on one of them street interviews, they gonna eat her ass up. They will eat her ass alive. I bring my feminine essence. It's a good answer in a way, because I understand what she's saying, but you shit. Your feminine essence can't pay these goddamn bills, but at the same time, let me not cap, cause when I was on my when I was on my when I was down on my luck, she was paying these bills. So let me not cap. Every nigga that say he came from the struggle is a fucking liar. If you ain't never drained no no, I don't know if them buffalo nuts with a little side of liver, y'all niggas ain't bitch. You pay me for spell struggle. Is you talking about bro what is let that? me see one of you going in the backyard and make this right now get your get your struggling ass out there and hurry up and make this these liver chops this the last piece you think you want out the fucking animal and i know this look at this this forehead now that's some struggle that's a lot of struggles right there how the did you line that up the barber struggling the 
people at Lynn struggling. He's struggling. His hair struggling. Y'all say, no, motherfucker, man, shut that spoon. The bitch use a, use a silver spoon fan Picasso in the back of the house ass. Man, y'all be lying. That, bro? Is that? Y'all like Every nigga that say he Bro, he, he, he draining nuts, bro. He draining nuts, bro. That look, that look like some buffalo nuts. What the f I ain't finna judge. What's up, y'all? Who we here with? Hoochie Queen is a shout out to Colleen254. Wait, what? Shout out to Colleen254. Type. All right, so I got three questions for you. <laughs> the first question is, what are the chances of me and you on the first night? Depends how many motherfuckers you do that to. Mm. Uh, uh. <laughs> mm. Okay. All right, no, this I respect that. that. It's just what I respect that, King. Should it depend? It, like we gotta go on the date first, so probably like sixty percent as of right now, cause you 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 cool, you confident, sixty percent. I just can't be with everybody. Type Houston got a lot of going on. Oh hell no! Facts. I respect right, the right, message. Question. All right. Stop or grab. You think from the front? So I'm I'm a snack now. I'm think from the front. Oh, I'm think from the front. She slim. Oh, you said she slim thick. Hell no. Yeah, slap from the front. Oh, you want to slap her? In the back too, if you want. Shit, I ain't Go ahead. To this, what it is. Grab that. That whole jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> that whole jiggle. All right, come on. Man. All right, last question. How many inches? That thing got some. I'm Filipino. I ain't gonna lie. Like regular, but I put you in different angles that you ain't never been before. God. How many inches? I told you regular. Like I never measured my. Hey, cuz was finna say like five. He was about to say like five. Come on, let me go find out. Come on, let's go. Them street interviews is crazy, but I respect his answer. You know, I feel as though most dudes would have said uh, a 10 out of 10 chance that me, you know, we don't deny, we don't deny ass. Ain't no grown ass man out here denying some free But at the same time, I don't know how often you get poom poom thrown at you. I've been in situations where I felt as though it was too easy and I just was, nah, I'm, I'm Gucci. I guess that's the same situation, bro. If it's too easy, you gotta be kind of worried about it. I know in some situations a female will like you, and like because she like you so much, she wanna get that thing to you. Uh, she do, she might do that to a lot of other men. You know what I mean? If every dude she come across that she likes, she feels as though she could throw the to them. You gotta be wary, man. You might she might be carrying around something. She might be walking around with that goddamn uh with that Majin Buu. Yeah, she might be walking around with that Majin Buu. I don't want them I don't want them type of problems. So let me clarify this. Are y'all telling us that if you are not related to us, if you are not dating us, if you're not having some sort of physical relationship to us, if you don't find us attractive, if you don't find us polite enough, kind enough, quiet enough, that our lives are not worth protecting? Is that what you're telling us? Is that the precedent you're setting? Yes. The same way women will say, you're not my family, you're not someone I'm romantically involved with, you're not tall enough, handsome enough, rich enough, smart enough, I don't owe you a smile. I don't owe you words of encouragement. I don't owe you respect. I don't owe you any kind of gratitude. Men will hold the doors open for women and they won't even say thank you because I don't know you. Who? Hey. Everything she said, but that one right there. That one right there. You know how many times I done tried to be a gentleman and hold the door for a heifer and she just walked out without saying thank you. Cause she she just felt as though uh, I was obligated to do that shit. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> that one right there. Love, have mercy. That yo, you know, sometimes you look at a video on something hit. When something hit, it hit, and that hit right there. That hit right there. I don't see myself jumping in front of no bullet for no strange bitch. But holding the door. Holding the door, Lord have mercy. Lord, hold on, I'm gonna tell y'all a story. Um, I go to work, man. When I go to work, 
sometimes I stop at Quick Trip, okay? Get me like a little coffee or shit, I got this from Quick Trip. Get me a little chewing gum or something like that. I went in there the other day, got some gum, but I ended up getting some stuff to drink also, like a bottle, a bottle of water, coffee. And I had it like this, bro. Now I'm about to walk out and it was a chick walking in. I still found a way to open the door and hold it for this heifer. With all the stuff I had in my hand. She just walked in. Didn't say thank you. Didn't attempt to go around me and held the, hold the door so I could walk out. Even though you see me, I have coffee, water, and, and uh, I think I had the, the um whatever the little... Uh, food shit they be having on, on the side. If you've been a quick trip, the the uh the corn dogs. I had me a packet, a, a thing of corn dogs and all that too. Pause. I had all that in my hand. And I still found a way to be a gentleman and hold the door for this bitch, and she did not acknowledge the fact that I. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't do it for the acknowledgement, but at the same time, when somebody blatantly just. Act like you didn't just go out your way for them. I'm sorry. That, that one hit that one hit home. The same way when you see a man down on his luck, you judge and laugh instead of offering him words of encouragement, speaking life into him. Why should I do that? That's a stranger. Things that don't cost you anything, you will not give to a man that you don't know, you don't want. But y'all expect these men who don't know you, don't owe you anything, and they have their own families at home that they need to get back to, y'all expect those men to lay their life on the line for you when y'all can't even give them a high smile or a thank you. Oh, okay. So, let me... She, she was talking that talk. She was talking that talk. It's crazy... It, it is crazy. That video I was watching with Shorty that um that got hit in the face with the brick. I really been thinking about that. I right, put it this way, right? Cause I if you I don't know if you from the hood, you might have come you might have came across situations like this, or you might have seen videos like this online. A woman and a guy are arguing. Uh, the guy says something about a struck a nerve. She proceeds to punch and, and, and pummel this dude. And he's backing away. And he's just like, hey, get off me. Get off me. She keep punching him. Mind you, it's a whole bunch of men in the vicinity. Nobody's holding her back. Nobody is, is, is trying to defuse the situation. Everybody is just there looking, watching. And she's still just hitting this man. Eventually, he gets he has enough and he just slaps him. Now, everybody jumps on him. Everybody jumps on him. I've seen situations like this in real life. And I've seen situations like this on videos. And I just don't understand it. I can't understand it. It gets me upset every time. True. I've almost got jumped because <laughs> I stood up for the dude that was getting jumped. You feel me? Like. Folks was mad at me. Because I'm like, bro, y'all sat here and let this bitch hit this dude and y'all ain't doing nothing. And as soon as he, like, what y'all expect? You feel me? The crazy thing is, though, is <laughs> if he ain't hit her back, niggas gonna be like, oh, you a bitch. You pussy. You let a girl hit you. But they waited for him to retaliate so they could jump. Bro, I don't even want to talk about that situation, bro, but I just remember it. And I still hate it to this day. Anytime I see it on videos, online, how we allow females to disrespect men, and we don't, we don't intervene in the situation until the man reacts or retaliates. Anyway, y'all, that is today's video. So. If you made it this far, man, I hope that you are subscribed to the channel. Because what I've noticed, because I've been checking the analytics, you know what I'm saying? I just got I just got the new phone. 
So I've been checking my analytics and stuff like that. And uh, what I realized is that a lot of y'all are actually watching the videos, but you aren't subscribed. And then a lot of y'all who are subscribed, you have not hit the notification bell. So please, if you watch my videos, subscribe. If you're watching this video now and you enjoyed it, subscribe. And make sure you hit the notification bell because my goal for 2023 is to actually hit 100,000 subscribers. And with 100,000 subscribers, I feel as though a lot of things, it'll give me the ability to do a lot more things on this channel. Now, I'm grateful that we have 53K. I'm grateful for the thousands of people that watch the videos now. But I want y'all to officially join the family. So please, please, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Thank you.